What is up YouTube, this is Reptile Roman here, and today we are going to be doing a basic Crested Gecko Care video. And uh, a shout out to my friend Futter Guy, he's letting me watch his little Crusty uh, while he's out on a beach vacation. So here is the Crusty first of all, his name is Keo. He's just a little juvie, there he is, has some nice, nice Dalmatian spots on him. Pretty little boy. So I'll let me crawl around me while uh, I make this little video. So today we're going to be talking about basic crested gecko care. And this is going to be more for a juvie since this is what I have available to me. This is a 19 quart Rubbermaid tub. And uh, some basic care. What you're going to need, these guys can stay at room temperature. So, you probably going to jump over there. See if he does. Probably not. These guys, can, these guys can stay at room temperature, which is, for me, is around 75, which is perfect for these guys. And, uh, oh, let me just get them off. 75 is perfect for these guys. Uh, I wouldn't drop below 65, hello, and I wouldn't go above 80. Uh, he's crawling up my shoulder. Okay, so, um, yeah. But, what was I saying? Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put him in this tub while I make this video, just so he doesn't get in the way. Really tame. Okay, whatever. He can go back in his cage. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, these guys are arboreal, which means they like height more than they do uh, floor space. So uh, this for juvies, you can use just a 19 quart tub, which is what this is. And this can last them for the first few months of their life. Like I said, they like height. So you're going to need to put, whether it be a wood branch or fake leaves or real leaves. But give them something to climb on. These guys do know how to climb on like plastic or whatnot. So give them that. And these guys require a lot of humidity. So you're going to have to moist them maybe one or two times a day, depending on how much air ventilation you have. And that's another thing we're going to talk about. Um, if you're going to keep them in a tub like this, you want to cut one side out and screen it over so that they have some room to breathe. As you can tell, there are some air holes in here also. Alright, so yeah. Alright, substrate wise, you can use a, var a variety of substrates. You can use anything from paper towels to what my friend has in here is Repti Bark, which I prefer. Uh, Paper towels is good just because it's easy to clean. Repti Bark gives it a little bit more of a um, display wise, but since this is in tub, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can use, you know, newspaper and other stuff like that. Uh, you want to use something that holds humidity well, so like paper towel will be able to get wet and get damp. Uh, Repti Bark can hold in the humidity a little bit well, and the tubs do hold in the humidity a lot. Another thing with these guys is the humidity, you want to keep between 60 and 80% humidity. So that's why you're going to want to mist them. And uh, yeah, so this will be good for about maybe the first six months of their lives. And what these guys eat is really simple. What they usually, they are, there is specially formulated food that they can just eat so you don't have to feed them bugs or anything like that. But you can as a treat. Uh, what my friend has in here is some Fluker's um, Crested Gecko Diet. Uh, I prefer the Rapashi Superfood. Uh, just because, you know, it's more well known and I just trust a little bit more. Focusing on him. Yeah. But, yeah. So, you can use that. And, like I said, you want a lot of places for them to be able to climb and hide. So, what we have in here is just some fake plants. You can get these at the dollar store. I mean, you could go to... Sorry about that, guys. My uh, my iPod died. But, uh, so I'm using my phone now. So, what was I talking about? I think the Crested Gecko Diet. Um, I do prefer the Rapashi, just because it is well-known and stuff like that. And yeah. So, yeah, these guys are an awesome pet. They're just really fun to handle and just really cool to look at. I mean, look at them. They're so interesting. By the way, guys, do comment down below whether you do like the quality of my iPod better or my phone. That's what I'm using now is my phone. So, yeah. So this is just a really basic Crested Gecko setup. As you can tell, we have the substrate, you know, places for it to hide, and the 
the Fluker's diet. I do prefer the Rashford Papashi though. And there is a screen. And yeah, look out for feeding videos for this little guy. And an update on how the Leos are doing. And some more bearded stuff. Yeah. By the way, I did uh, restash. I did not just drop my phone. I did restash on food. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Um, check out Footer Guy down in the description. And yeah, let's just go out with a nice picture of his underbelly.